kids are probably on one right now, an iPad, some sort of tablet device, even a smartphone. But these devices are also being used as traps by predators for things like human trafficking. All new here at 5 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield talked to officials in Johnson and Wyandotte counties who say they are seeing more of these cases, Ariel. Well, Mike, the average age of a child who is first exploited and trafficked is just 12 years old. Kids being targeted at our shopping malls and online, and now they're being targeted during school with their phones through apps like Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. When we think about the sex trade, we automatically think about um, prostitution and um, going across state lines, and you know we think that doesn't happen here. But it does. And on Thursday, when I was seven years old, dozens of students from Wyandotte and Johnson counties learned about human trafficking and how predators are targeting them and their friends. Just yesterday, and he like messaged me on there. And he, he gave me his number. Alana Dooley received a message on Instagram from a person she didn't know. It happens most more than you would think. It's done at shopping malls, schools, and yes, on social media. I don't think it's being identified to the extent that it really exists. Michelle well, Herman is the CEO of the Sunflower House. From April to December, they helped six girls from Wyandotte and Johnson counties, each a victim of trafficking and sexual exploitation. The youngest girl, 10 years old. The people that are targeting them are very, very experienced at exploiting children. They look for uh, children that look vulnerable. Strangers lurking on social media often use the Romeo technique, presenting themselves as a love interest, building trust and quickly flipping the script. A problem Alana's now aware of and one she's still concerned about for her friends. It's just weird to think my friends could be talked to someone that they don't even know that are like faking their identity. Parents, here's what you need to know. Make sure your geotagging is off on your child's phone and that all of their profiles are set to private. And Mike, people can also go to our website to find more tips of how to keep themselves safe and to get resources for help. Oh, you know, it's so important, like we were talking about. You take the steps now just in case. You think it never could happen to you, but you want to be sure that you're in that position to prevent it. So, Ariel, thank you.